To our second installment of the University of Texas at San Antonio's Vocal Arts Series. I am Dr. Susan Olson, Associate Professor of Voice at the University of Texas at San Antonio, and I will be your host for this concert performance. 
In a new concert series for the vocal area, our vocal arts series is embracing a number of themed recitals on topics from the works of Franz Schubert to the American Musical Theater. These performances will be taking place throughout the 2020-2021 academic year. In our inaugural concert, we had the opportunity to hear a number of our students performing African-American spirituals. And today, we will be hearing more of our voice area students in our concert entitled Laudate Dominum, Great Moments in Oratorio. Our students will actually be singing from varied forms of sacred repertoire, from cantata, evening prayer, or vespers, and oratorio. Let's take just a moment to talk about oratorio, cantata, and vespers. Oratorio had its beginnings in the 16th century as compositions taking place in the oratory of a church. A side room of the church meant for prayer and teaching on sacred subjects. Many oratorios are narratives meant to inform the listener. Oratorio is set up similarly to opera, using recitative, aria, instrumental interlude, and choruses. Both opera and oratorio may use orchestral forces. The difference comes in the subject matter. Most operas use history or mythology as their foundation. In oratorio, the use of sacred topics and biblical text make it appropriate for presentation in churches, although not generally in the midst of a worship service. Another major difference is that oratorio is not performed as much as proclaimed in a concert format. There are no costumes, sets, or staging in oratorio. And oftentimes, you'll see the performers using their music for reference. Our introductory work today was from Handel's famous oratorio, Messiah. We will talk more about Messiah a little later. Now, we will have the opportunity to hear works by Bach, Vivaldi, and Mozart. We will be hearing Ich esse mit Freuden, part of Johann Sebastian Bach's Cantata 84, titled Ich bin vergnügt mit meinem Glicke, which is a solo cantata for soprano. We'll also hear Vivaldi's Domine Deus from the Gloria. Both of these works are from the Baroque period. The Bach work is a church cantata, and the Vivaldi, while technically a choral piece, uses cantata-like sections in its 12 movements. We finish this section with a sacred choral work from the Solemn Vespers for the, a Confessor. Unlike the two cantata works, the Laudate Dominum, which we will hear, was written to be sung within a church service, particularly the Vespers service of the Liturgy of the Hours. Vespers can also be known as the service of evening prayer, the sixth service of the seven canonical hours. Please enjoy our students' offerings. Ich 
The rest of today's program is dedicated to the works of one composer, George Friedrich Handel. Regarded as one of the greatest composers of the Baroque period, Handel wrote in many genres of music, including opera, orchestral music, organ concertos, choral works, and oratorio, just to name a few. He spent the bulk of his career living and working in London. His success as an oratorio composer caused him to abandon writing Italian opera for English oratorio in the middle 1730s. Today we will hear the tenor aria Total Eclipse from Handel's oratorio Samson. The oratorio is based on chapter 16 of the Book of Judges and is written in three parts. This aria is sung at the end of the first act. Next, we will hear the aria Arm, Arm Ye Brave from the oratorio Judas Maccabeus. The story appears in the apocryphal book, One Maccabees. An apocryphal book is considered canonical in the Catholic and Orthodox churches, but is considered non-canonical in the Protestant denominations. This may deem Judas Maccabeus a secular opera in some circles and sacred in others. Oh, no. 
Arm, arm, he brave. Arm, arm, he brave. A noble cause, a noble cause. The cause of heaven, your zeal demands. A noble cause, the cause of heaven, your zeal demands. A noble cause, the cause of heaven, your zeal demands. Arm, army brave. Arm, army brave, a noble cause. Arm, 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 army brave. Arm, 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 army brave, a noble cause. The cause of heaven, your zeal demands. A noble cause. Arm, army brave, a noble cause. The cause of heaven, your zeal demands. Your zeal, the cause of heaven, your zeal demands. In defense of your nation, religion, and laws, the Almighty Jehovah will strengthen your hands. In defense of your nation, religion, and laws, the Almighty Jehovah will strengthen the Almighty Jehovah will strengthen your hands. Arm, 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 be brave, a noble cause, the cause of heaven demands your zeal, a noble cause. Arm, army brave, arm, army brave, the cause of heaven, your zeal demands. The remainder of the program will include a number of works from Handel's famous oratorio, Messiah. This monumental work tells of the life, death, resurrection, and new life of Jesus Christ, using a combination of both Old and New Testament texts on a libretto written by Charles Jennings. Our opening selection of today's concert Comfort Ye My People, and Every Valley Will Be Exalted, is, while at the very beginning of the oratorio, actually the conclusion. Jerusalem's warfare is accomplished. Her iniquity is pardoned. This oratorio is written in three distinct parts. After the opening declamation, Part 1 foretells of the coming of Jesus, the birth of the Christ child, and the hope that his birth brings to humankind. Part 2 tells of Christ's passion and death, followed by his resurrection and ascension into heaven. Christ's resurrection is our victory over sin and evil and culminates in our spreading of the good news in the Hallelujah Chorus. Part three assures us that we all have the promise of eternal life with Christ and ends by giving praise to Jesus Christ, our Savior. Today, we will hear works from each one of these parts. 
Dr. Luke Howard's words speak of the appeal of Messiah. He states, and I quote, None of Handel's oratorios have garnered more audience, esteem, and reputation than Messiah. Messiah stands alone as the most popular work in the choral and orchestral repertoire today. It is the first classic in the musical canon, the oldest composition to have never fallen out of favor and has remained part of the performing repertoire continuously from Handel's day to our own. It is without peer or precedent." End quote. Enjoy. Thank you. 
Thank you for joining us today for our oratorio concert. I hope you've enjoyed it. As a special treat, we have our UTSA choirs performing Handel's famous Hallelujah Chorus as our closing.